For those that don't know, this will be new to you. For those that already know and are here, for a little update of what's going on, real update, no assumptions, you know, you in the right place. A little recap, Yo Gotti, brother, Big Jook, was taken off the planet yesterday after attending a funeral with Yo Gotti. Yo Gotti was there, but due to business, he had to fly out first. He had to leave immediately. Whatever that situation I'm hearing is the weather I'm hearing is this, I'm hearing is that. But Yo Gotti was not in the car because he left. Who was in the car allegedly was Big Jook, another individual who we don't know yet who that person is, and Yo Gotti and Big Jook's mother. She was in the back seat, and apparently when the guy showed up, she runs out of the car. Now, that sounds weird to me because if I'm coming how I'm coming, I'm talking with guns and ammo, and I'm letting them things off at Big Jook. Big Jook getting it. The back door opened, that person getting it too. So... The shooter had to say to himself in that split moment, all right, I'm not going to get the mother. That's the only way she got away because she would have been hit too because unless she saw the shooter running up on the car, even if she saw that by the time he got there, he would have hit her up too. So there's some questions here. We, we haven't seen the video. Video is not released, as usual. And we know, like I said, we know even with video, these people still hold back information. Why? There's different reasons why that happens. But Big Junk was the target. And he did got hit. So the shooter did his job. He will get his bonus. Now, his friend also got hit. This is why I'm saying how the mama ain't get hit. The friend got hit. Big Juke got hit. The mama opened the door and run. And the shooter ain't shoot at the mama or she would have got hit. Ain't no old, older lady running that fast from bullets. So, the friend is taken in the hospital. Critical condition. Big Juke passes away. The mother escapes to live and tell the story. This was get back. This was get back from Dolph. Because what happened to Dolph? Because a lot of you love, black people love a boogeyman story. Boogeyman story. Now, everybody likes to talk about aliens. Everybody loves spooky things, but black people love spooky stuff. And love lies. That's what I noticed doing this over here. Y'all love it. Y'all love it, but obviously I don't promote that. I just, I love realness. I love realness. That's why I love my woman to be real. All parts real. The narrative is, yo, God, because he's, Going at it with Dolph and Dolph saying words back to him and they making records back and forth that Yo Gotti put up a bag. It's the narrative. Now listen to the names I'm using. I didn't say the camp. I didn't say that organization. I'm being very specific because we have to be very specific. Yo Gotti put the bag up and got some hitters and the hitters took Dolph off the planet. That's that's what y'all running with. 99% of you running with that. Now it's okay. Yo Gotti took out Dolph. Oh, Dolph people, listen to what y'all saying. Young Dolph, y'all saying his name. Young Dolph people, young Dolph. It's get back for Dolph. That's what happened to Big Juke, yo. 
That's what happened to Big Juke, yeah. And all the YouTube dudes, I, I man, I, you know, it really, you know, when Redhead Man said fake news, <laughs> y'all YouTube dudes are like parasites and scavengers for views and money because y'all don't got nothing else going on. I get it. But what it's doing is you're killing the culture. You're killing the credibility of those like me. You're killing the credibility of the culture with the boogeyman stuff. Stop it. There is, we got to be authentic. Whether it's dance or whether it's hip hop, the root of it comes from the street, a subculture within a culture. And there are rules and morals that we go by. And one of them is we keep it real. And, and that is the premise we're going by right now. This is what's keeping this ship afloat is you guys come over here and you know, okay, and I'm not the only one. There are a few, but you know, you come over here hundred percent, you getting something organic and real and standing on that, the cookie family, people are still pushing that because it sounds like I said, sensationalism. Oh, the cookie family, this, the, they did this and Raven did this and stop it. Y'all can't have it both ways. Black people always say, yo, the, the law is against us. The, the boys is against us and they willing to do anything to get us. Well, if that's the case, and 99% of you are right, because 99% of you are saying that the Cookie family lined up down. And if the boys are racist and they don't care about black folks and they can't wait to get a black person, then they should be out of here by then. They should be gone, right? And streets talk, streets know what's up. You think the streets would allow Raven and them to still be alive? if they knew they had something to do with Dav. Y'all not thinking. And that is the problem with this community. That is why the, 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 the other dudes thrive because they kill you with nonsense. They kill you with the most popular stuff that's going on is stuff that is like microwavable. But when it's time for y'all to think, it's, it's like impossible. So I have to break this down and I use parables and I do things because I'm putting the truth within the chocolate cake. So end of the day, Raven got I already proven that. You have me as an eyewitness, the worst person in any situation is an eyewitness. I'm an eyewitness. They got video, they got phone records, they could track you. Everything in America now, there's paper trail. There's paper trail. Even if you scam someone, somebody get hit because the paper trail goes back to somebody. Whether you the decoy or whatever, but somebody got to pay. The same thing with breaking the law. In America today, there is paper trail. They will know. They will know. It's not Mission Impossible no more. So if Raven and her family had anything to do with this, they would know. The boys will know. They would find out. And they have nothing to do with it. I went down there. I done spoke to everybody I could speak to. The ops, the streets, the chief, the lawyers, the this, the that. They said, we can't find anything or the cookie people got nothing to do with it. Even the ops, the ops, the ops said, listen, that's a silly story. Dov had beef with multiple people. But one thing for certain and one thing for sure, the cookie people got nothing to do with it. I'm bringing up that because if y'all believe, still right now in 2024, believe that, then you guys are in the wrong place. Go somewhere else. This shot in HD TV. We started with the streets. Did y'all forget how this started? How this started was in the streets. Our post death sparked this whole movement, Sean and HDTV. 
We went in the street, the same thing, okay? Real and raw journalism at its finest, Sean and HD gave you that. And we going back out there, by the way, with Hip Hop Virtual. That's going to be the new thing, Hip Hop Virtual. By the way, shout out to everybody who celebrated the 50th anniversary of Hip Hop. And we going to go back out in them streets because Pain and Food 2 is coming. And I'm going to kick it off. Who else but me? Why me? Because I was the one who set it off in the first place. Yeah, the other dudes did their thing with the story, but I was in the gutter. I, 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 what I found out is what they trying to do with Dov. They the same people. Be talking about the F, the B, the I. Okay? Same people. An uh, intelligence organization in the United States of America that gets paid to come after us. That get paid along with the C, the I, the A, to watch us. And I'm telling you that they hands are all over, were all over Apple situation. I mean, they never seen a dude like me before, guerrilla style journalism, man, all in their face. What, they think they was gonna get Lisa Evers? Shout outs to her, whatever she do. What they think they was gonna get all these journalism, all these people that read off a script, all these people that got a boss. No, when I ran up on them police chiefs, when I ran up on the detectives, when I ran up on dudes from the hill, when I ran up on dudes from Broadway, when I ran up on the dude that moved the truck, I'm talking the tow truck driver that moved Alpo truck. When I went to the precinct where they had the truck, when I spoke to homie that I, that I knew that he opened the truck door, the truck was right there on 135th. And he looked inside, he didn't see no blood. And I'm telling you, that just only infused thoughts of is Poe dead? Because y'all got to understand this. Any other normal person that get hit up in Harlem or anywhere, anywhere in America, the streets of America, a dude get hit up. And this has a lot to do with Young Dolph, by the way. Because it's the same treatment, y'all. Because it's the same people involved. When Poe got hit up, a black man. Because y'all like to do the color thing. And we got to get past that. We got to do 10% the color thing. Because, yes, they, we always going to face ops as a people. But 90% should be, we should be more tactical and more militant-minded. Okay, because we need our economy and all these people that's coming in the country, coming in, flooding in. They are a distraction and they're about to consume and create their own economy. Jorge is going to be a black man's boss soon. Jorge, Maria. Okay, Pedro. This is what y'all not understanding. So understand that we have to change the way we analyze groups that's coming in the community claiming they down for us like you see what happened to the other people they ran off with the bag i learned that just by following these dudes and these stories i went out there i did that i documented what i did and what i'm telling you is any guy that gets gunned down in america you can ask questions and get some answers okay but with Poe, it was like secret society with the, with the boys, the detectives. Even the dude that hit him up, they already had the dude on Rikers. Somebody get hit up in the street, you would know information immediately. The age, who the person is. Okay, we got the suspect. Okay, who's the suspect? They'll put him on the news. Understand that the same people are involved and they doing it, they treating it the same way. But we, the public, or we that's quote-unquote journalists need to push the envelope and say, oh, hold up, what about us? Just because we didn't go to college, we not with a credible network, we independent, well, we can't get answers. But the point is, nobody was getting answers. 
because I asked Lisa Evers, hey, that's Alpo Martinez, right? That ain't that Alpo? Oh, I don't know. I don't know yet. I didn't get the information yet. Lisa, you know who the hell it is. First of all, you you report on the, the culture. You report on the community. You know people that know Poe. You telling me that it's been two days now. It's been a day, 24 hours, actually. And you ain't know yet that was Poe in that truck. She lied to me. She's lying. Because they tell her, shut your mouth. The boys told her, this is bigger than NYPD. It's in our hands. We we are part of this. We are part of this. And even when I was asking the, 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 the top detective, the top detective on the case, hey, did you guys got anybody that did this to, to Apple? Who was the hitter? How did this happen? Crickets. Crickets. And and I said to him, dude, I'm an American citizen. I'm a Harlem Knight. I deserve answers. This affect my community. That's when he tells me, yo. That's when he tells me the truth. He said, yo, we already got the suspect. We already got him. But we can't tell media. We can't tell. They've been had the young boy, the young bull. They've been at him. But everything with Paul was, shh, be quiet. Because the the F, the B, and the I was involved. And they allowed Poe to run loose like a wild man in the street. Because he was back doing the same thing. How does that happen? How does your guy leave Maine, leave the witness protection program, and you don't know? And you the F, the B, the I. That makes sense? How does your guy come back to Harlem, set up shop in two or three buildings, got workers, he's back like it's 88. Then you have Sean in HD. The police knew I, as soon as I ran up on, oh yeah, we know who you are. Oh, you, you, oh, you Sean in HD. Yo, they already knew about me because they said, yo, there's this kid. He's unorthodox. Watch him. He's not He's not a regular reporter. Be careful. But you know what? Police talk because I know how to talk to people. That's a skill. Good communication skill. Not everybody have that. Now, two officers confirmed what the top detective told me. They said, yeah, we're not supposed to say anything. I got that on, on record. We're not supposed to say anything. But yes. The guy that did that to Alpo, we have him. We had him already. We have been had him. It's a young boy. They concealed his name. Even today, you might it, it might be out now. But at that time, you couldn't find this kid. How I knew who this kid was, was dudes from the hill and dudes from Broadway in Harlem, I'm speaking. Okay said, yo, that kid ain't no joke. He's from a group of guys that that's what they do. They hit us. You know what I'm saying? So Poe done mess with the beehive. He poked the beehive. He messed with the wasp nest. And the wasps came and stung him. That's what happened to him. Now, I'm here to solve for a woman, but I don't know about that. I heard prior to, prior to that incident... Poe had a run-in with the guy. Okay? They had an argument over some female situation. I'm not sure. And the kid wasn't having it. And who that kid is and who he be with, he let Poe had it. Because that's what he about. That's what he's about. But it was a bunch of hush-hush because no blood in the truck. I didn't even see no. I got video of the truck, yo. No blood on the street. I zoomed in. I don't see no blood. I zoomed in right on the ground. If somebody leaking in the car, they're going to leave drops on the ground. I was there. I didn't see no blood, yo. My, the kid I knew that opened Alpo's truck, because it was right there, under the, under the street light, 135th Street, 
between 8 and 7 Ave and 135th. He said, I ain't seen no blood, yo. And they can't clean the truck because it's evidence. Whatever is there got to remain there. No blood. He didn't get shot in the chest, nowhere serious. He got hit in the arm. And then Gene Deal comes out and said, he, his, somebody he knew, that Poe knew, said, yo, Poe, what you doing on Halloween? And Poe said, don't worry about it, I'm vest up. Poe was wearing a vest. He was wearing a bulletproof vest. So he had a bulletproof vest on. Shots go through the window. He get hits in the arm. He got the vest on and now we know why this. The bullet grazed his arm, I heard. So I want y'all to think about this, man. How could this man be dead? Because when they grabbed Paul and took him to Harlem Hospital, I went to Harlem Hospital. I tried to go in there. I did get in there. And I'm looking for Alpo Martinez. Who are you? No. There's a bunch of cops in there. White shirts. Dude, get out of here. Okay. He goes to the hospital. Then nothing. The story cold. Nothing, you'll hear nothing no more. Nada. Where is Poe? Where is Poe? Did he survive? Who was his doctor? What happened? Any updates? Nothing. Nada. Lisa Evers? Nothing. Channel 11, Pix 11 News? Nothing. Fox 5? Nothing. NBC? Nothing. CBS? Nothing. Nothing on Poe. It's like it never happened. Then his family comes out and say, Initially said, oh, we're going to put him in the glass horse carriage and ride him around Harlem. It was a lie. They come out and say, oh, yeah, we cremated him. Oh, really? You cremated Alpo. Really? Where's the proof of that? There's no proof. All we know is he went to the, he got hit in the truck. They took him to the hospital, Harlem hospital, and then poof, disappear. We don't know where this man is at. We don't even have a body. We don't have a tombstone, a grave site, nada. Nothing on this man. And you expect me to believe that narrative? You expect me to believe that? Then if you're being genuine and you're being honest with the public, why hide things? Why hide things? Why hide information? It's because you're lying to us. Straight up. Which brings us to Young Dolph. Because we're going to get to Big Jook. This is 360 degrees. Everything coincides. Because it's the same orchestrators involved. Young Dolph. They grab Cornelius and they grab Straight Drop. They grab those two. When I check Cornelius' situation in the streets, he's a car thief and a woman beater. A car thief and a woman beater. I don't see nothing with Cornelius Smith as a hitter, a hitman, a shatter, I don't see nothing and I haven't heard anything about him being that. Straight drop. When I check his situation, straight drop ain't no hitter, hitman, shatter. The only thing shooting I, I, I've seen on record or straight drop is he shot up a bowling alley and he missed his target. So he's a horrible shooter. He pulls the gun out the trunk. Allegedly, it's an automatic weapon. He sees his target. He shoots. Airs out. Every, two other people got hit except for the target. He can't shoot straight. But his name is Straight Drop. Then he also has 
a pedo case. And he also beat on women as well. That's what I found about Straight Drop. He's not a, these these guys, Straight Drop and Cornelia Smith, they're not, that's not their thing. All we know is why they even came up, why they even grabbed them is because their fingerprint was found on that white car. And the internet and certain people saying, yeah, 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 these two. But there's no evidence. There's no proof that these were the hitters. A guy that can't shoot straight. And, and he beat on woman. And a guy who steals cars and beat on woman. And you telling me a high profile dude like Young Dolph, that's who, whoever, right now we're going to say whoever, that's who whoever paid to do this job? Are you kidding me? When they could get real hitters to do this? Does that make sense? I want y'all to understand what I'm saying. Does that make sense to you? You're going to get a dude to go in your mouth to pull a tooth out. You're going to get the mechanic that do cars? Or are you going to get the dentist? The guy that really knows what he's doing. And I'm going to tell you about the young boys today, whether it's New York or anywhere else. Yo, they're going to tell you what they did, bro. Now, I know Dolph is high profile. But what if I was to tell you guys the ops already has spoken, man? Like this case, this case ain't solved yet. So y'all got to be careful what y'all saying because you're going to get innocent people in situations they shouldn't be in. Now, I'm not saying Cornelius is a good guy. I'm not saying Straight Trap is a good guy. I'm not saying they're good men. But what I'm saying is, y'all want justice or not? We want the real people involved here. Not the two stooges. Apparently three. Because Hernandez ain't the smartest bear. He's supposed to be the mastermind behind Dolph passing away. Can y'all really picture Hernandez who's slow as hell? Because I heard, I seen him in the courtroom, what he be saying. I'm like, this dude is slow. So a dude that's slow. I'm not saying he can't function and sell narcotics and do crime in the hood, but is he intelligent? You don't need a bunch of intelligence to do that. Hernandez is slow. Are you telling me he's the mastermind behind this? The Dolph hit? And then the two people is Cornelius and Straight Drop, for Christ's sakes? These are the guys they got that said pull off this? Obviously, it's a it's almost a perfect crime because they don't fully have evidence on straight drop or Cornelius. Are you telling me that Hernandez, a slow dude, and straight drop who can't shoot straight, and Cornelius Smith, a car thief and a woman beater, they were the masterminds behind the young dude. Yo, y'all, y'all cracking me up here. <laughs> I mean, I gotta laugh. It's laughable, and to make it worse, this narrative is being fueled by these YouTube guys. Like, yeah, 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 man. Yeah, Cornelius and 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 yeah, well, yeah, 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 man. Oh, that boy straight drop. Oh, yeah. Come on, give me a break. <laughs> it's laughable. It's laughable. And the family knows that these guys ain't the ones who pull it off. But who cares? They're the ops anyway. They're the ops anyway. They either indirectly or directly. So who cares? But the family knows that the people are still out there. The family knows that. 
up until Big Jake. Because that is the stamp right there. But his wife knew, the family knew. That's why they didn't hop out. That's why they didn't really come out and say, because they know the real people still out there. We got to move quiet now. We got to move in silence. They don't believe straight dropping them. You think, you think Young Dolph's wife really believe they the ones who orchestrated that and did that? No, but she knows straight drop is a op. He betrayed Young Dolph. And she knows that Cornelius Smith works for the ops. Okay? Or he's involved with the ops. He has relations with them. And, and, and there are many, many apps here. Young Dolph didn't just have Yo Gotti throwing words back and forth and insulting each other on records. No, he had beef with a lot of people because people fell out. And people disagree with Dolph tactics and who he associated with. That caused rifts and, and, and certain people passed away. Not by Dolph. I'm not saying Dolph is 100% innocent. I'm not saying his hands are clean. And I never said Young Dolph's hands was clean. He has done things. He has co-signed things. Okay? So the man got beef for more than multiple people. So I would never say Young Dolph's hands are clean. But I will say his movement made sense. His movement was a solution and could have been a solution for Memphis. I'll say that. Other than Yogadi, Yogadi really didn't have a movement to me. Yogadi was selfish. Yogadi didn't really want to share. Yogadi was building his empire and keeping it in his circle. It wasn't for the Memph Memphians. You know what I'm saying? They, that, that money ain't trickle down. But Dolph, the money trickled down to too much people to where Dude, hold up. You can't be feeding the hot. So, whoever they grabbed, we got to put a question mark on that. And the reporter told me, understand Memf Memphis reporters, by the way. Memphis reporters, they basically are from the neighborhood from the community. They not far apart from the street. I mean, you could pretty much call these dudes. Can I call Lisa Evers in New York? No. There's a separation. There's a entitlement. You are a citizen. I am a reporter. You can't have contact with me. But in Memphis, the reporters, they're like the average citizen, but they're reporters. That's their title. That's their job. But you, they reachable. And I'm not going to say who told me. Just know I met him when I went down there. But he told me that the F, the B, the I, they were there. Before even they showed up. And they got pictures and they took photos. And you know that's the same people that was connected to Poe. Now here they are in Memphis. Here they are on the scene. And you wonder why, if it wasn't for the, not the common citizen, if it wasn't for the soldiers in the streets, the dudes in the gangs, the, the, the ops, the, the this one, the that one that's in the street, they the ones that broke the story. They the ones that told me and certain other people, yo, this is what happened, for real, for real. And they saw them too there. The two ops that I spoke to, the two, I'm going to say the two steppers that I spoke to, confirmed because they were there. Yeah, dude, that was a regular day. Everybody doing their own thing. Everybody mind their business. But I question the two steppers 
in hindsight, when I when when I look back, I'm like, wait, hold up. How is it so convenient that y'all y'all was right there? Well, one of them, I think he's he's a, he's a he's a uh, BDR, whatever gang he's in. I said, how is it convenient that you was right there at the right time, at the right place when the Young Dolph situation happened? Are you involved, sir? Are you involved? Were you the lookout? All he did was laugh. He never said yes. He never said no. He laughed. So... All right, that already telling me, you see, a street dude, they're very psychotic, okay? Certain street dudes like Poe, like Preacher, like a lot of these street dudes, they, they will even smile with you and, and talk with you about sports and then later on kill you. So when I was talking to these guys, I understand that's why I asked the question, um, sir, were you involved? He laughed like a smirk. So I said, yeah, you know exactly what happened. And he's talking and he's like, yo, yeah, the, 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 them guys was there and they were taking pictures. He seen them. And they were there before the news reporters show up. And some of them had plain clothes on, he said. This is how I know. There are agents within these camps, within these hip hop camps, these so-called movements, they in there. So to me, they have the tools, they have the intelligence to know that this was about to go down, but they're allowed to go down. They're allowed to go down. They know. Just like they knew the whole time who did that to Alpo. They knew the whole time. But they kept his name on the raps. They kept it hush hush. For for at least two months. You think they don't know who did that to Dolph? Where it came from? They know. You think they can't stop the war in the street? They can. They have the resources. But why do it? Let them, let them, it's politics. Let them do it. Let them do it to each other. Because that way, instead of catching 1B, 2B, 3B, no, let others get involved with domino effect. Now we can get 100 of them at one time. Looks good on the promotion, don't it? Agent Walter, Agent Muhammad. Looks good, don't it? Agent Bryce. They out there. So when we get information, y'all get information from these dudes, please listen to a credible source. And I'm telling you guys right now, the same people that did that to Dolph, did that to Big Jook. It's, it's, it's all connected. Based on what they t what, what, what's been said to me, the same people, they still there. The same people there. The only thing that happened after Dolph died is now people that hated certain people that was beefing with Dolph. Now they have an excuse to eliminate them. Because they could easily say, yo, they was down with it. Yeah, we got them. So when you hear DJ Academics, DJ Wackademics, the fake Jamaican, come out and say, yeah, everybody that that um was connected to Dov, they all dead. You don't know what the hell he talking about. You don't know what he's talking about. The people that are involved in the Young Dolph situation, the real hitters, the real hitters, 
that core group, they the ones who took our big joke, man. They the ones who took them out. And I'm gonna tell y'all this, how, 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 how I believe what's happening is I believe one or two of them is the F, the B, the I. I believe they involved, I believe they part of the hits. They took part in the hits. I believe that. When I went to Memphis, Memphis remind me of, of Jamaica, of downtown Kingston. Now, if I'm telling you I went to Memphis and I'm all over this thing. Memphis is no different from downtown Kingston, Jamaica. No different. The, the, the bad man them got guns and they run through the yard and this one gun down this one, this street over here beefing with this street and, and the war is on. Police corrupt in Jamaica, police in Memphis get down. The, the, the same people that's police in Jamaica, the same people taking part in the beef and in the sales and the narcotics thing in, in the streets is the same thing like Memphis. You think I trust police when I was in Memphis? Who knows if that black charger that pulled up on me that had all black tint was a black charger, all black tint, pulled up right on me when I was at Dolph's, the, the street sign. Vroom, pulled up, revved the car, and I'm looking like, is that police or a regular dude? Because only police cars do that. All black tint, black. Room, room. When I, I'm not waiting for the third room, I ran to the Kellogg's factory. I ran. I was out of there. I ain't run that fast since I was a teenager. Then the dude didn't even pull off. He watching me run. Then I peeked. I look. He he burned the tire and skied it off. So me, I'm spooked out. Like, oh man, because I already seen dudes carrying weapons. I already seen young men moving around militant like in them streets. It remind me of, of Jamaica. Downtown Kingston. It's no difference. Memphis is, is crazy, man. The streets is wild, bro. And the police is the streets. Ain't no separate. Whoever, whoever did the hiring, it's like they recruited the streets. You might have one or two cops that's really cops. So understand that. It ain't safe. It ain't safe. And I could go on about other things that happen, but it ain't safe. That's why I'm able to do what I do and I, there's no fear because I already put myself in situations where, okay, second nature now. I'm used to this. I'm still breathing. I'm still breathing and able to narrate and give you guys a story and I don't mean fabricated. Nah, this is biology. This is real. You go in the library, this is the real section. If, if y'all the public do not demand real answers, then they're going to give you whatever story they're going to give you. Just like with Paul. We are not 100% sure if our Paul Martinez is going for real. There was no evidence. There's no proof. Once he went to the hospital, it's like the body disappeared. The, the story done, the news reports done, everything done. Where is he? Even if they did the, 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 the ash thing, there still should be evidence of that. We don't have evidence of that. We don't. Same people involved there, same people involved in the Dove case, same people involved with Tupac, same people involved with, with B.I.G. We can't take their word for it. Big Juke passed away, 
Oh, everybody. Yeah, Young Dolph did it. Yeah, his people. Stop that. Because when Young Dolph was alive, the most he said, he never said it was real, like, beef where they got to go to war with Gotti and them. No. Key Glock spit it on, on, on Big Juke. What? Nothing came out of that, homie. There wasn't no, like, he's still alive. Glock's still alive. And and he he physically did something to Jook. Young Dolph, when he was alive. See, y'all trying to put words in Dolph's mouth. I'm not going to allow y'all to do that. Young Dolph did say he disrespected Gotti. Young Dolph did say he disrespected his brother. They also threw words back at Dolph. But Young Dolph never said, I'm at war with God. Young Dolph never said, yo. Young Dolph never said, it's on. It's go time. Yeah, we, 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 we on it. We stepping on them. He never said that. Now, were they verbal things? Yes. That happened. That happened. He more would have static with black youngster. I, that that was that was a situation. That was a situation. But Big Joke and 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 Dolph, there wasn't no physical altercation other than allegedly at the airport, Key Glock spit it on on Joke. You know, disrespect the man. But we can't put we can't. Do this narrative where we saying, yeah, get back for Dolph because then you put in his family. Dolph not here to protect his family. Unless y'all are 100% sure because I'm telling y'all right now, the same people that did Dolph is the same people that did Big Jook. And it's the same people. Y'all keep forgetting this story. A week before young Dolph passed away. In the same way Big Jook passed away. In the same way Young Dolph passed away, a dude bigger than Gotti, bigger than Jook, bigger than Young Dolph, no matter how much money Dolph had, this dude had more money than Dolph. A big time dude, a big time dude. This is what the ops told me. This is what the steppers told me. And others confirmed it in my IG as well. Before Dolph passed away, a big time dude, I mean, he's big time, not small time. They hit him up the same way they did Jook and Dolph. A week before they got Dolph, yo. This dude is big time. Man, I'm telling you, this dude's so big time. They call him in his Rolls Royce, y'all. And I heard they, they, they put more than 100 Shots in that Rolls Royce, yo. So, understand that something don't smell right. Understand that something, something just ain't right, y'all. And the little easy, you know, simple-minded stories. Yeah, yeah, it's easy to say the cookie people lined up, dog. It's easy to say, yeah, yeah, big joke. Got hit because what they did to Dolph. And it's easy to say God, he did that to Dolph. Because it's simple-minded stuff. And some things are that simple. But this ain't that situation. It, it's, it's the pattern of and how the, the, the shootings happen. It's the same MO. It's the same way. The same high-profile people. You can't get no little clowns to take out high-profile people and get away with it. Because I'm telling you how professional these dudes were. They didn't even leave not one eyeball alive. Because homie that said, yeah, man, I see the white car right here. Oh, the same night they got rid of him. <laughs> The same night they got rid of him. And it is a crazy, the crazy, crazy thing. 
about the Young Dolph story and none of you talking about this. What happened to the kid that they dropped off at the hospital? The kid that got hit. Oh, y'all think there was only two shooters? <laughs> there was a dude that when they fired back, because shots was fired back at the people. Yo, one of them got dropped off at the hospital. You don't hear nothing about that guy. You don't hear nothing about him. Nothing about him. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Let's not forget the next day after Dolph was hit, the next day there was a drive-by shooting at the memorial. Dude shot it up. And guess what? They were in a black charger. <laughs> they were in a black charger. Those guys are not connected to Gotti. Those guys are not connected to Straight Drop. Who are those guys that they caught in the Black Charger that shot up the memorial? Where are they? Where are they? Why are you shooting up the Young Dolph Memorial? Why you got venom for Dolph? Are you connected? Yo, y'all forgot. Black people always forget. That's our problem. We always have Alzheimer's when... No. Where are they? Who are they? This is why I said this thing stinks. It's foul. It don't look right. Don't smell right. So now Big Juke get taken out and, oh, Big Juke, Big Juke, stop it. Stop it. Young Dolph family never came out and said it was up. It was on. Dolph ain't never said, yo, yeah, I'm going after these. Dolph, Dolph will tell you he's honest. If D Dolph, Dolph took it as, it's just words going back and forth, yo. His real issue was with Black Youngster. That's who his real issue was with. Even though Gotti is, could tell Youngster, yo, fall back. But understand, y'all keep forgetting the dynamics of Memphis streets. Let me explain to y'all. Gotti can't control. There ain't no hierarchy. There ain't no, I'm the, I'm the Don. That's the difference between, I would say, the Jamaica situation, the, the Kingston, and the Memphis. That's the only difference is there is no order. They don't respect the hierarchy. So when youngster jump out the window, if Gotti even step on his neck, he might, youngster could say, man, forget you too, and take him out. Ain't no loyalty, no respect for no OG in Memphis. Facts. Facts. And, I, and I'm gonna leave it right here because I ain't hear nothing yet from the land. Nobody hit me up yet. I ain't no new information yet about the situation, about who the hitters might be, which, where did it come from? How did it even got there? What was the motive? There gotta be some motive. I don't hear nothing, so I'm not gonna tell y'all lies. Like, yeah, breaking news, I heard this. No, I'm gonna keep it 100% authentic over here. But it's gonna come out. Because I feel like the police who's oblivious. And I'm talking the good ones, the ones that's really police. They're oblivious to what's going on. There's an undertone here. There's an undertone. And they're gonna see the shooters on the camera. They might could zoom in on the license plate. They might could crack this part. And if they get this one right, then they will know who did that to Dal for real. Because these are, I believe, the same people involved with, with the big joke situation. The same elements involved are the same elements that took out Dal. Could it be 
your roosters, your chicken have come home to roost, big joke? Could it be that? Could it be that the same people, what, what if big joke, let's just say, what if big joke had a play with the hitters that hit up the album? And what if those people say, yo, yo, we, 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 we hit up that one, that one. Dude, we are the, we are the squad. We don't need joke. We don't need God. We don't need none of them. Matter of fact, let's press them. What if those guys decide, yo, we are the hitters. We putting in the work. We are the muscle. We, we are the SWAT team. Let's just press all of them. And what if Big Joke didn't want to pay or something ain't right about this whole thing. That's all I'm saying. And I believe the same people that took Dolph out, that same core of people, are the same people that knocked off Big Jook head. And they probably pressing your Gotti right now at the moment. They probably saying, yo, your mama, yeah, we let her go, but hey, next time it ain't gonna be like that. So yo, give us this amount of money. It could turn like that. And I believe one or two of those people are the F, the B, the I. I believe they playing a role in there. That's what I believe. I don't believe it's just this two, yo, street dudes ain't that intelligent, man, to pull off these hits like this, man. I'm telling you that right now. We from the streets and we know it would take a highly intelligent street individual to come up with plays like this and leave no I wouldn't say evidence, but leave nothing behind where it's coming back to them. In fact, it's so confusing that the boys is picking up anybody just to say, hey, look, we got these two. Yeah, it is what it is. That happens every day in America. There are people just to, just to show the family the pressure is on on law enforcement. They got to make a move. So they just grab anybody that makes sense. But they don't got to be the real people. You get it? They don't got to be the ones that did it. It's just a play. To make them look like they're doing their job. It happens every day, every moment in America. Now, here's how we leaving it. Let's just wait and see. Let's not jump to conclusions. Young Dolph ain't here to speak for himself. Young Dolph have children. And he has a, a wife. And she ain't been with no, she not in a new relationship. That means she, she loved the man so much. That was real love. Cause she, she, she got the money, the life insurance money, the kids got they good, but where her man at? No, she's still holding on to Adolph Thornton Jr. Y'all gotta respect black love. Y'all gotta respect the fact that young Dove, that's why I respect him. Young Dove could have been with a white woman. Young Dove could have been with a stripper. Young Dolph could have been in the club every night throwing his money away. No, Young Dolph was home cooking. Young Dolph was teaching his son and spending time with his daughter. Young Dolph loved his wife, his black wife. I support Young Dolph because of the examples that he was living. His movement was the new Black Wall Street. How many of them broke dudes in Memphis would have seen a Ferrari, would have seen a Lambo, would have seen a... a, a all them, the McLaren, for Christ's sakes. You know how that's motivating to a child. Yo, go take the garbage out, son. And you in a poor neighborhood. Go take the garbage out. And you walk out, take the garbage out. And you see a damn Ferrari right in front of you. You know how more, and young Dolph is like, you come in, come, you want to check it out? Come sit in the seat. That is motivation, bro. Young Dolph donated so much money in Memphis with the cancer, with the hospitals. Young Dolph was about to come out with his own schools. Young Dolph loved his people. I can't say much for Gotti, what he has done for the community, but I know Young Dolph have done more for the community than them politicians, and that's also a threat. What if Adolph decides to get into politics? And Adolph wasn't no damn Democrat. 
So it's a total threat now. I think he was a he was a Republican. I think Adolf Thornton was an independent. But he would have to chose a side. But I know Adolf wouldn't be no damn Democrat. I know that. Not the way that man think it. Democrats don't want businesses. AOC ran off Amazon out of New York. That was 2,500 $2, workers that she ran off that could have had jobs. Adolf don't Adolf believe in building businesses so that he can hire his people. Adolf believe in entrepreneurship. He was a damn entrepreneur himself. So why would he go Democrat? When they trying to kill business, they don't want business. They say business and the rich are no good. This is what they saying. It, it was a threat. He was a threat. And all them politicians at the memorial, I'm back there and they smooching and they doing this and they doing that. And, and, and they, listen, they all there because they damn, it's, it's all fake. It's all fake. This is Sean HDTV, man. Big joke. Gunned down, passed away. Allegedly, his mother was in the back seat of the car. The shooters let her got away. That's what I believe. I don't think she got away at all. I believe they let they allowed her to get away. The the, the shooter allowed her to get away. You know what I'm saying? Cause ain't no way an old woman gonna be running out of a car and <laughs> while bullets are flying and the shooter seen the door open and don't shoot her. Like it it don't it don't add up. Like okay, she got away scotch free. She got away, but Big Juke didn't get away. He made sure he got Juke. He made sure he got the other guy. Why he didn't make sure he got the mother? Y'all got to use your common sense. But I'm selling content. Share this video as a matter of fact. Because ain't, ain't none of these dudes going gonna, to gonna bring it like this. Put it together like this. They just gonna stick to the to, to the to the narrative. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, big joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was payback. Yo, that was die for them. Yeah. No. If it if, if if it did come from that side, I would say that was Glock on them. Yeah. Not Dolph. Listen, they all Dolph Glock. Glock had his own crew, his own team, his own situation going. He got his own ops too. So, if it came from anything over at PRE, it was Key Glock. Because Key Glock hated Juke bad. Bad, with a passion. And he did spit on the man, allegedly. And he, and he did said some things to Juke. Press Juke. You know what I'm saying? So, understand, look, man. Anybody could get it. Anybody could get it. You know what I mean? But united we stand, divided we fall. The black community is a cancer to itself. We taking each other out left and right. We taking out the greats. We taking out the money, the money growers and the entrepreneurs, the people that could create businesses in the community. We taking them out. So it's whack right now. It's whack right now. And I ain't gonna get preachy. So y'all know what time it is, man. Tell a friend to tell a friend what's going on over here. You're not rocking with the best, Sean HD TV. Share this video. We got to get it out. The information got to get out there. That's the power that you guys have. All you got to do is hit, hit the share button. Post it on your Facebook, your social. Let's get it out there. Sean HD TV. Let's go.